chestnuts, how is it going today? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today's the day we're going to take a little Civic and we're going to do side take racing and we're going to stick it on the dyno. We'll see what this little 1.6 naturally aspirated engine can do. Probably less than stock because it's sports pistons and it's not boosted yet, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Interested to see the difference uh, between the 1.4 and the 1.6. Um, just for personal knowledge, plus this has VTEC, so it'll be interesting to see what it makes on the dyno. Just a couple pulls, no restrictor in the exhaust, no air filter, and just send it and see what it makes. While I'm there, I'm actually going to be wiring in a Max ECU Mini uh, into a little Toyota Glanza. Yeah, so get ourselves involved in a little Glanza. Uh, I'm going to try and make it total plug and play. Um, into the glands itself. Uh, there's a guy down south, uh, which is Richard Stanson on Facebook. Uh, he does a lot of these Max ECUs on glands and stuff, so I'll probably give him a shout. And if I get stuck with stuff, he'll give me a wee hand. Because this Max ECU, like I say, when you get involved in Max ECU, you're joined in part of the family and everyone is there to help each other. After sales support is absolutely top notch. Yeah, basically, you're never left alone. Right, you go. Got in the dyno. Strapped up. Um, not going to bother running an air filter on it, just because it made the most power last time with no air filter. So do the same with this, and uh, I'll need to cut the exhaust long as well, and uh, we'll go and do a couple of pulls. If it makes a hundred wheel horsepower, I'd be really happy with that. So. Um, yeah, that's, that's where I want to be with it anyway. And then at least we've got comparisons for when we start uh, sticking to the boost in it. Right guys, so this is the timing map I'll use first. Uh, as you can see here, 100 kPa is where we'll be at. <clears throat> um, pretty much flat timing curve really. 27 degrees, go up to 28 up the top. And uh, yeah, I'll probably rev it out to about 75 to see what the power is doing. If it's dropping off, the power's dropping off around about seven and a half. There's not much point in revving right out to eight because, um, well, well, naturally the power's going to be dropping off. No point in revving it out if it's not making any more power. So, yeah, yeah. The fuel, fuel map I've got. Just made this up myself. It's hard to see the numbers, but if I show you in 3D, you can maybe see the sort of shape of it. So just like that. Um, obviously, this lump here is just because VTEC. I've not actually put in a different map for VTEC, so um, yeah, it should be good. Happy with that. Lambda control, I've got, see, lambda and then target, and then you've got the actual fuel trim, it's like 1%, so she's pretty happy, so. Bloody noisy. I'm not even sure if this camera's going to pick it up, to be honest with you. But we might as well just get into it and get a wee blast. Go and turn the fans on. Ah, please, aye. So, usual stuff here for me. Yeah. Right, so. It's got a wee bit of temperature, 76 degrees. Hold your lugs. I'm on the wrong fucking graph, that's why. 
That's Fiesta ST power now. <laughs> so, this here is actually, the D16 is in the red and the D14 is in the blue. So you can see much more torque in the um, D16 and power as well. And we end up making 116 wheel horsepower at the very first pull, which is shit hot really. Um, and like I say, as you can see the cam here, it stops flowing past like 7 and we hit the limiter here at 7,500 so I'll, I'll probably just set the limiter, just keep it there maybe um, but yeah, you can see it dies off there, it'll maybe change a bit with a boost but um, yeah, happy with that so far, so we'll maybe chuck in a couple of degrees of timing and We've got our wee YouTube fans here as well Yeah, see, there he is, you hide then Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and there's Mark as well. Aye, happy with that. Everything looks good, feeling's good. So maybe put in a couple of degrees of time in, maybe lean out a bit uh, and uh, go for another run. So um, what I'm going to do here, as I might make it just a little bit richer, um, and we'll see how she does. We'll go for a point. Sorry, we'll go for a point. Eight six. This is smidge richer, and we'll add some timing in. Probably add it in about here-ish. Add a couple of degrees in there. There we go. That'll do. So we're up to like thirty degrees timing. Thirty-one. Fuck it. We'll do that. And we'll see if it makes any more power. This is the way we did. Oh, crazy! I better do a log. I forgot to do a log last time. Typical, eh? Could you put a fan on? You put it for chairs. Right. There's something up the fan there. timing but it made more power <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I'm at the very edge of fucking timing there to be honest with you I'm probably even just gonna knock it back a couple of degrees but let's go and have a look we start setting a bit though yeah she definitely did, didn't like the very top uh, yeah. yeah so I'll probably pull that timing back out but that's 118 wheel horse so um Probably take that back out. Oh yes, we have to. That'll be interesting. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to pull two degrees back out of it, um, and then we'll just pretty much go for another run. Also, guys, I should say my VTEC I've got set quite low, so I've got it in at 35, 3,500 RPM. Got VTEC kicking in, so nice and early. But as you can see, we're not actually dropping anything at all. It's actually where it kind of wants to go, to be honest with you. So we're going to do another pull with uh, the velocity stack on it. And uh, we'll see if it makes any difference. Let's give this a whirl. Pull that then. 
lift up the log and we'll see what she made. Oh, so controversial. So now we can see the red here was the last pull. With that two degrees of timing I had in it, it was misfiring, obviously good detonation. I pulled the two degrees back out again and we've added the velocity stack and it has actually gained that power back up again. 119 wheel horsepower. So that I am very, very, very happy with. So I'm gonna go now and we're gonna calculate what that is. We'll calculate what that is in brake horsepower. Yes, so what we have here, 119.4 plus 10 divided by 0.9, that calculates the transmission losses um, of a front wheel drive car, and we end up at 143 brake horsepower at the flywheel. I'm really, really happy with that, because that is super healthy for this engine. Obviously, because I'm on max ECU, I can play with the fuel in it and add it some more time, and uh, maybe get a little bit more than what a factory ECU can. Um, but it shows you, that's a little single cab, D16, 143 horsepower, 1.6 engine. So, I'm very, very, very happy with that. So yeah, I hope you guys can actually hear me now after the, the noise of this in the dyno, but yeah, it was a success. The car has driven out fine and I'll drive it home. And uh, yeah, so it turned out around about uh, 0.88 lambda and uh, 28, 29 degrees of timing was kind of the sweet spot. Any more run up to 31 as you've seen, it just, I didn't like it. It started detonating and stuff like that. It started misfiring up top. So um, yeah, that was a sweet spot. And uh, it made pretty healthy power, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So 143 horsepower, and... Uh yeah, like I say, next stage is boost. So, um, as per always guys, short little video for you. You guys stay safe, take care, and uh, we'll catch you in the next bit. Cheers.